At the heart of Kentucky Science Center's mission is this movement, it's called Do Science, and it really is um, our effort to help every citizen of the Commonwealth, every person in this region, embrace the notion that science is part of their everyday lives, and, and we really want every individual, young and old, and everyone in between, to get passionate about doing science curious about the world around them and interested in discourse so that as they grow and as um, uh, we lead adult lives then we are people with an open mind and, uh, and really be successful citizens. And so um, again at the heart of the Science Center mission is that essence of doing science. Science is innately fun. We like to present science here in a way that makes it, um, inspires that curiosity, that innate curiosity in all of us, and starting kids off early with the skills and tools they need to maintain that curiosity that we all start out with. And so giving children the tools they need to explore science with their senses and explore science um, through doing and acting rather than reading or learning about things um, passively. Um, really, it's almost trickery what we do. It's almost, you know, we're, it's, it's fun and so you don't think it's learning, but it is. In the mid 80s, the Science Center installed a IMAX theater, one of the earliest in the country. And so we have recently um, updated and upgraded in our entire suite of film technology. So we are now, once again, uh, on the leading edge. We have a full digital system now. And, um, and the screen is the first of its kind in a museum anywhere in the world. So it is a precision white screen technology that allows for a beautifully consistent, um, bright picture. In our theater, um, when you watch those films on this gorgeous four-story screen, it's a very bright, pristine image. Not only that, we have a fully updated, you know, awesome sound system. One of the most interesting things about this evolution for us is that we can now program um, a much larger variety of content. The Science Center actually opened as the Cabinet of Curiosities in the basement of the Louisville Public Library. We had a collection of artifacts and resources that had just sort of been collected in the Louisville community over time. Even our mummy, Chan Hotep, who's been in the Kentucky, the state of Kentucky since the World's Fair in 1904, which is such a cool artifact to have our hands on. Um, so we opened there and then we've grown exponentially since then into this amazing resource both for children and parents. But in 2002 we were named the State Science Center of Kentucky and in 2012, 10 years later, we decided to make that official and we're now the Kentucky Science Center. And I feel grateful to be in a leadership position to empower communities to really think about kids and families uh, in a way that, uh, that puts us all in, in a position to be more, do more, see possibilities, be, be, um, be possibility-oriented people. <laughs>